Hello, friends, and welcome to Sleep Tight Stories. This is part two of our story about Luna and Pepper, two cats who have a wonderful home. They are out on an adventure to help some cats who don't have a home. Luna and Pepper think all cats deserve to be as happy as they are. How can they help? Luna and Pepper, Part 2 The people who lived in Luna and Pepper's city loved animals and worked very hard to make sure that they all had a family of their own. They weren't always successful, though, and some animals did not have as loving a family as Luna and Pepper. Sometimes when offered help, the animals would hide because they were scared. But Luna and Pepper both thought they could help. After getting directions from the big mastiff, Luna and Pepper raced from the park and started running down sidewalk after sidewalk towards the direction of the church dodging people's feet as they ran. As a cat, you have to be very careful when you are around those much taller than you and keep your tail tall. Otherwise, there might be a rather uncomfortable accident and no one would want that to happen. As they ran, they could see their destination was getting closer. Ignoring the tempting smells of fish, stinky garbage, and the offers of treats from all the kind people on the way was difficult. They also ran by some Labradors who always seemed to want to play. And a great big Newfoundland dog who thinking that they should all race, dragged his human down the street until he ran out of breath. Cats can run really fast when they want to. When they arrived at the church, they still could not see the waterfront, or a harbor, or water. It might be because they were so small, and when you are small, Sometimes it's more difficult to see places far in the distance. So they looked around for another friend to ask for directions. They hadn't been waiting three minutes when they saw a dog out walking with its human. Humans and their animal friends are inseparable. They love to exercise and explore together. But Luna and Pepper, until now, preferred to play indoors. And there was no way Pepper would ever walk on a leash. Since they weren't stopping, Luna and Pepper decided to go for a walk beside them. The dog's human thought it was really funny that the four of them were walking down the street together. As they were walking, and they weren't walking very fast, as the dog was a corgi, and corgi's short legs don't allow them to walk fast. Pepper whispered so only the dog could hear. Hi, friend. Um, I'm wondering if you can help us? I certainly would be happy to if I can while I am walking. I can't interrupt my daily walk, or my human won't get his exercise. But we have to keep talking quietly. I don't want to scare him. No problem. We are looking for the waterfront, and I am wondering if you can point us in the right direction. I think so. It's actually not that far from here. And if you keep going down this hill, you should come pretty close. My human loves to take me to a restaurant that's near the waterfront. They have great spaghetti, which is my favorite food, you know. 
and that's in that direction. If you get the chance to eat there, I highly recommend the spaghetti bolognese. You cats are pretty fast, so it shouldn't take you long at all. Thank you very much, friend. I don't mean to be rude, but we really must run ahead. We only have so much time today, and we really must get to the waterfront. Oh, it's no problem at all, and it was my pleasure to help you with directions. Take care, and don't forget to try the spaghetti. Luna and Pepper left the corgi and his human behind and kept going down the sidewalk. Past fruit shops, flower shops, news stands, and restaurants. They continued to smell all manner of wonderful things. Cats have a wonderful sense of smell. Not quite as good as dogs, but still much better than humans. As Luna and Pepper spent most of their time inside, they didn't get to experience this wide range of smells. So they were sometimes tempted to stop and investigate what they discovered. The noise of the street was somewhat new to them too. Though they lived for a short time without a family, that was when they were very little. And it's always so hard to remember everything when you grow up. But one sound told them that they were getting close. The sound of seagulls. They kept going, jumping over chihuahuas and dodging kids with bikes. They even jumped on a skateboard that was going their way. A little winded, they stopped briefly for a break so a small human could scratch their head. They loved getting their heads scratched. Soon they arrived at their destination. The seagulls were even noisier. They could smell the salty smell of the sea and could see many animals out walking along the waterfront with their humans. Do you recognize anything, Pepper? Luna asked. Just all the seagulls, and I think the smells. Is that sushi I smell? Asked Pepper as her belly started to make some noises. Focus, Pepper, said Luna. Yeah, right, focus. Mmm, I don't see the building that we used to hide in. Just then, in the distance, Luna saw a small group of cats, tails high in the air, disappear down an alley. Over there, Pepper, did you see? Yes, I saw them. Let's go and see if we can find them, and if we can introduce ourselves. Maybe they need help, or could tell us where we might be able to help others, said Pepper as they sprang into action. So they ran ahead down an alley where restaurants put their garbage and saw the cats go inside a shelter someone had prepared for them. As they approached, they were greeted by a few of the cats, including their elder. Hi friends, Luna said as they approached. My name is Luna and this is my sister Pepper. Hi there the oldest cat said. I'm afraid we don't have much food to share, but you are welcome to share what we have. And our space that some kind people built for us is yours to use. Thank you, but we have a home. And, well, it's a long story. But we once lived around here, and now we would like to help you find a place to live too, if you like, said Luna. That sounds nice, but we get scared around new people and places, said the smallest cat. We often hide when people come to try and help us, said another cat with tiger stripes. Yeah, 
I don't know why, but I run even when the kind human comes to give us food to eat, said a tabby. You don't find us scary, though, said Luna. No, of course not. You are a cat, said the smallest cat. We are looked after here very well by the kind people who own the local businesses here. But I must admit, I do wish all these young ones had the benefit of having their heads scratched every day, said the eldest. And some of us are tired of leftover spaghetti bolognese, said the tabby. Well, I have an idea. Why don't you follow us to where we live? Our family is super nice. We have lots of food and a great big comfy couch to sleep on, said Luna. And though it took us some time to get here, it's actually not that far. If we go quickly, we might be able to get there in no time at all. Are you sure they could help us? With all the room and food we have, I'm sure it would be no trouble at all, said Pepper. That big comfy couch sure sounds nice, said the tabby. But are the humans nice? Asked the smallest cat. The humans are the absolute best. Other than Pepper, Lucia, our human, is my best friend in the whole world. Really, you have nothing to worry about. And if you are still not sure, when you arrive, you could always hide under the couch until you are ready to come out, said Pepper with a smile. I think we all would like to take you up on your kind offer, but there is perhaps a problem, said the eldest. What problem could there be, asked Luna. We five cats are not all that live here. Just then, coming from the shadows, appeared at least 20 other cats of various sizes, ages, and colors. Luna and Pepper looked at each other for a moment, somewhat surprised. The more the merrier, Luna said hesitantly. And so Luna and Pepper led the cats from their alley home, up the street towards the church, and then to the park across from their house. As they were walking, people, cars, and buses would stop and stare at the sight of all the cats quickly walking up the street in a line, two by two, all with their tails high up in the air. When they arrived at their home, they gently helped the less experienced climbers up the tree, through the bedroom window, and into their home. Wow, are you sure we can stay here? It's so beautiful inside and clean and warm, said the eldest. Yeah, sure, it's our pleasure, Luna said with a smile. The youngest led the kittens under the couch where they could hide until they felt confident enough to come out. And they all mewed and meowed in comfort. A short while later, the door opened and in walked their family to the sight of over 20 cats sitting in their living room. And that's the end of this story. Good night. Sleep tight.